Welcome to the homework for lesson 22. This is module four of first grade. Name first. And we get to be a little creative on this one uh, using tape diagrams to write a variety of word problems. They're giving us the tape diagrams and we have to make up the problems. And we're getting us a, they're giving us a little bit of a head start here with a, a, some, with a word bank. Use the word bank if needed. It means you don't have to use the words in the word bank, but it's there just to help you so you know how to write the words or spell the words that you want to use. Uh, remember to label your model after you write the story. The labeling your model means labeling your picture or your tape diagram. So here we have uh, flowers, stickers, frogs, goldfish, rockets, crackers, lizards, cars, and marbles. And we have to make up uh, make up a story for this. So we have a whole of 17. I can, you can see that this looks a lot like a number bond, doesn't it? Because we'd have 17. If this was a number bond, we'd have 17 and we'd have 12 and 5 for the parts. It's just like a number bond. Except there's some things you can do with tape diagrams that are a lot easier to do than they are with number bonds. You don't need that number bond. Uh, so let's just make up a story. Uh, make up your own, please. But I'll just give you an example. Uh, so we have, uh, this could be a take apart story. It could be a, uh, put together story. We could put 12 and five together to make 17, or we could take 17 apart to make 12 and find out what the five is. There's a lot of different stories you could make up for this, but let's say, um, Steve. gets twelve flowers from school and picks five more in the yard. How many Can he give to his mom? And we need a number sentence. So this is addition, 12 and then five more. And I'll box the 17 because that's what we're solving for. And write the answer statement too. He seventeen flowers, and I'm going to label the tape diagram right because it's twelve at school and five more in the yard. Now for our next example, I mean, we can still use the same word bank. Don't have to use any of those, really. 
But now we've got a, this looks like a take apart story where now we have to figure out, we know the whole and we know one of the parts, but we have to figure out the other part. So our number sentence is going to be whatever it is, but we have to, we should draw the pieces in it too, right? Because here they drew the pieces, but the pieces aren't here. So seven, we can just draw the rest of them. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And that's why I stop at 16, because the total is 16. So I started with seven and counted on from seven to get how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine of those. Nine of those. And we can say Mary had sixteen cars and see can we use one of these build draw eat hide give collect gave seven to Steve How many does she still have? All right, we have our equation, we have our question. We've uh, we got to label this, right? 16, these are the seven she gave to Steve, so I could put an S there for Steve. And these are the ones that she still has H for those and we need an answer statement Mary still has nine cars so uh, please don't copy my answers uh, but make up your own have a have a little bit of fun with it um, Use some imagination. Be silly about the story. You can do that. Uh, just remember you have to have finished labeling your... Right? Just remember to label your tape diagram. Finish labeling it. You need your... Uh, you need your picture. Finish the picture. And you need to have your equation or number sentence you need your question and you need to have your answer statement that those are the things you have to have as long as you have those you're gonna have you're gonna have uh, everything that you need for an answer